Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 20. And uh, I think the time has come to hit that strawberry... That strawberry? HIT THE STRAWBERRY! Hit that story mission. It's gonna cost me 280 to actually uh, do it, but... If I don't hurry up and get it done and return to Helios Alpha, my economy is gonna be damaged. And we don't want my economy to be damaged, so... I think what I'll also do is I'll split these around to actually get more of the bonuses. <clears throat> I didn't really want to because... If you jump, is ready to jump and the enemy jumps at the same time, then they've got you trapped. You can't jump away. Which is very annoying. So I'll actually just end this turn now and make these jumps quickly. I plotted the jump coordinates, sir. Huh. They've just left Helios Alpha alone. Interesting. All right, let's go. We suspect the president's plan to pass through here was leaked. His security advisor was on his way to a routine inspection and was okay. blindsided by a Cylon fleet in the area. We don't know if the Cylon interference is coincidence or if they were tipped off. Either way, the president has insisted that his advisor's safety <clears throat> is the highest priority. Hmm. Funny how Helios Alpha has actually not been destabilized that badly. Go there. Get ready to do these two Detected missions. Detected a Cylon strike fleet, sir. Right. <clears throat> this one should be easy, and then the story one will be a pain. So let's get this one done first. I'm going to save before the story one because uh, I don't want to lose any progress. One of the hardest missions in the game, simply because you need a very particular strategy and a lot of pre-knowledge to actually win it. <clears throat> this mission is just a randomly generated one, so it shouldn't be too hard. You need at least one Raptor Squadron. Okay. Bring a pair to be safe. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. <clears throat> blomph, 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 blomph. Hostile marks all over the station. No response from inside. We should get our Marines in there as soon as possible. Okay. Board and defend the diplomatic station. Okay, fine. Understood. On it, Commander. Oh, it's all the way over there. Let's go. Try and keep the formation steady. I'm 
that means that you need to just chill out a little bit. Launching fighters. Okay, go. Off you go, boys. Let's have my rearmost ship on ultra defense mode. And the rest on attack. Off you go, boys. As soon as I have sight on the enemy. Yes, sir. Taking fire. Hostile unit identified. All right, you can now turn and enable flak on the right side. That will dismiss those missiles for me. I'm concerned that this is going to be one of these missions where a load of enemies just appear out of nowhere at some point. Somewhere near the space station. Missiles incoming! <clears throat> Get flacked. Squadron has gone dark. Get out of there, Raptors. I never meant to actually send you onto the front line like that. Hostile unit identified. <clears throat> They've done well to scout the enemy for me, though. That will enable me to get some damage done. Understood. Formation has seemingly not worked out for me. Understood. Hostile unit identified. Pop. selection method in this game sometimes is frustrating to say the least. If 
you guys are able, can you actually just focus fire that guy into paste, please? <coughs> Much obliged! I need to turn to show my left armor. Because there is not much left of my right armor. Okay, his bottom armor is nearly punched in. It's always a big Artemis horde of these damage. evil flag frigates, isn't it? Get him! Good work. Yes, Commander. Okay, fine. Secondary battery, full attack mode. Fire at will. Keep losing out, Jude boys. Also, missiles are ready. Fire away. Careful, careful, careful. I think these two are done. Armor wise, their armor is quite poor now. Let's turn the rest of the fleet in. Go. Artemis is taking <clears throat> damage. Show that rear armor. Yep, that seems fine. What's left of my fighter groups are actually busy harassing the Talon, which cannot fight back. Artemis is taking damage. Oh, it looks like they're coming to chase after the Artemis. I need you to to keep showing your butt. Understood. For your butt has armor and cannot lie. Artemis is taking damage. Fire at this one. Okay, never mind. No, not focus fire. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to fire munitions. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Nebula, whatever. <clears throat> <clears throat> he's run out of engagement range, but he's gonna ch chase. He's gonna be chased down by those missiles. Go, Team Artemis! Nice kill! And another nice kill. There goes those horrible flag frigates. <clears throat> that Talon is being harassed by the same 
15 plus 18 fighters that... <laughs> They've just been there the whole time. Do you know what? Who cares? Turn around, boys. Turn around. Time for focus fire. <clears throat> this is where uh, craft with terrible uh, DPS fight craft with terrible DPS. Ah, oh, so difficult to select the exact ones. Okay, there we go. And turn. I could just, you know, box select. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Those fighters are ruining that talent. That's so funny. Go on, boarding party. Two half squads of fighters. Killed the carrier faster than five adamants could. So funny. Yes, sir. I'm just turning in to chase him, otherwise, he's going to get out of range. I can always use the other's broadside. I wonder what happens, just out of interest to the raptors, if uh, the boarding party gets wiped out or the ship they're on gets wiped out. They get wiped out too. Inside and out have been neutralized. The security entourage is injured but safe. Maybe this will get Kane the presidential FaceTime she's been angling for. Nice. <clears throat> All right, this is the plot mission that's a nightmare. Let's save before this one. I wonder if this will be like so much easier with the space station in the uh, in the fight. Get that space station right on the front line. Mm. 
And this time I have vastly more firepower. Let's go. <clears throat> Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Bump, 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 bump. Jump complete. Hostile. Oh, look at this, like he's running straight towards the space station. No targets in range. I don't think he can target himself. I'm pretty sure I tried this. So say we all. Oh, look at that. They'd be in sensor range immediately. Full attack mode. All weapons. Scramble Understood. everything. Are they above me? Are they below me? They're sort of just there. It's fine. Let's go. Wow, detected immediately. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Okay. What a difference this makes. Fire munitions at that one. Focus fire that one. Fighter Ball of Hate, go after that fighter. <clears throat> These boys are going down in a single turn. Adamant is taking damage. Commander! Multiple new Dreadus contacts. Okay, three random fires. Go after that. Three random fires. Go after Squadron that. Squadron target is confirmed. Just keep them busy. Understood. Wow, he's dead already. And he's next. Adamant is taking damage. <clears throat> boom, boom. Flying towards that space station. Launching drones. I'm not sure he can repair himself. He's not a valid target. Get in there, fighters. Taking damage. IFF confirms unit is hostile. <clears throat> Where's the other one? I'm so concerned about this ship.
that he's just going to come plowing in and kill my Celestra from behind. have a clean shot on him. Fire munitions at his ass. Celestra is taking damage. IFF confirms unit is hostile. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. <sighs> oh, they did they just get his navigation? They just got his navigation. Yes, commander. Literally try and body block. Celestra is taking damage. Come on. Celestra is taking damage. They got it. They got it in the mad suicide run. Mad suicide dash for it. Unbelievable. They got it in an absolutely mad suicide dash for it. I don't see how this is fun or strategic in any way. Once again, uh, it was a Talon that killed it. And that Talon was nearly dead. He was like down to 23 HP. I might have potentially been able to win if I had brought Berserks instead of Adamants. Something with more firepower. Okay, let's try again. I feel like that was close. Prepared to jump in three, two. I feel like one. you were close to victory there. Maybe I could have engine boosted to the front line a little bit, but I was engaged the whole time. Jump complete. Launching alert vipers. I'm going to be immediately in the fight from turn one. On it, Commander. Fighter Squadron is taking fire. Okay. Same strategy, nuke him, focus fire him. Squadron target is confirmed. You go over the go after those fighters. You go after that carrier. And you three just go and defend so that you'll at least be in the right region.
Go, go, go. Adamant is taking damage. Commander! Commander! Multiple shitters. Squadron target is confirmed. Boost thrusters and go. Because these two are about to be dead. Anyway. Adamant is taking damage. <clears throat> Hostile unit identified. Go, 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 go! Taking run, 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 run! So say we all. Come on, come on, come on. Celestra is taking damage. You gotta take more than that. Okay. Boost up the weapons. Stay with the fleet. For now. Get rid of that stupid these high DPS guys are really annoying. That one should die shortly. Munitions that one. Focus fire that one. Celestra is taking damage. Why is this raider squadron on this friggin' Celestra and he's not being picked off by the fires? Oh my god! I'm at a loss here. I am I'm at a loss to figure out how to do this because of the single-minded and suicidal focus by which the AI goes after the uh, goes after the uh, the transport. I can't really put the shipyard there. Would it hack being shot at by all of that crap?
I got a different idea. I have a different idea. It's stupid and it shouldn't work, but we're gonna try it. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. You go this yes, way. Commander. All of you boost and go this way. Understood. We're going to do the opposite. I'm going to send the fighters after the revenants. Squadron target is confirmed. We're just gonna On it, ignore them. Hostile unit identified. Here come the reinforcements. Commander, multiple new Dreadus contacts. Keep going. But do me a small favor and delete that one. Fighter Squadron is taking fire. Adamant is taking damage. Adamant is taking damage. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. I'm about to lose an adamant. Hopefully it won't matter. Celestra is taking damage. Man, Adamant they're on taking it. Damage. They're on it already. With single minded focus, they're going for it. And his so navigation is destroyed. Raiders taking damage. We lost to Celestia, sir. We're taking fire. It didn't help. Just charging straight in after it did not help. Alright, one last, one last uh, attempt at this mission. The thing is, they just don't target me. They, <laughs> they only target me when the transport is, mil is a million miles away, but they're targeting the transport. They may passively be shooting at me, but they're always moving via best possible speed in the best possible direction towards the transport. And if they ever have a shot on the transport with any weapon, it immediately targets the transport.
Okay. Funny part is I actually asked for some advice about this from vets, but it seems like they they have not played this for years and the balance of some of the ships have changed. Certain Cylon ships have been buffed considerably. Like the deadly fra flak frigate, so... Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Let's go again. Jump complete. Yes, Commander. Full guns. Full sensor range. That was the quickest way to delete the, uh... Yes, sir. Delete the revenants. Escort clear zone intact. Priority one is in safe hands. Right, first things first. Yes, sir. Go after those raiders because they are going after the Celestra first. On it, Commander. I just feel like if I had one extra turn, it wouldn't be such a problem. Target acquisition is through. Give me manual control now. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Is active. Adamant is taking damage. Man, they're on me. Commander, in turn number two. Contacts. Where are the rest of the fighters? What are you all doing just hanging around? Adamant is taking damage. Switching gun to manual. Get him! Get him! Get him! Right! I'm winged! Why are you not focus firing on this? Seriously. Hostile unit identified. Yes, sir. Be as annoying as possible.
Oh, he has the ability to restock missiles for other ships, not actually launch them. Alright, the Talon's about to die. Celestra is going to walk into a million missiles unless he turns. No, forget him. Go after him. This one that's peeled around the back. Yes, might sir. be a problem. Celestra is taking damage. Wow, he really did just plow straight into the missiles trying to go for the Celestra. But he won't take much more. Uh, nope, wrong move. Focus fire him. Fire munitions at him. Turn in, turn in. Celestra is taking damage. Adamant is taking damage. All right. My God, I think we've done it. And the one that's gone round the back to try and catch me. What armor do I have left, front and rear? <laughs> and 50 HP. Celestra is taking damage. Man, they really are going for him. Understood. Keep gaining height because your bottom armor is all you've got. Celestra is taking damage. Daedalus is under attack. Oof. We did it. With pure cheese. And I think a lot of luck. A lot of this felt very RNG. Oh, I forgot about this admin. It just went flying off into Onyx the sunset. Amanda. Oh well. <laughs> just managed to focus fire the right targets down quickly enough. And there was just enough DPS to get it done. No toaster's gonna do me like that. Not today. And it was still close. What a horrible mission. All hostile marks are down. Celestra is secured and preparing to be boarded. What a horrible mission that was. <laughs> There's no strategy to that. Just, just plow the enemy down as fast as you can. Is literally the strategy. Commander, Admiral, while we were anchored at Aquaria, Sinan okay. came across some disturbing intelligence about one of our allies. We finished debriefing the Celestra just a little while ago. Although the project was Torin owned, most of the crew is Cancerin. Mostly engineers and deckhands working off family prison debts. Their opinions on Cancerin's prison systems okay. were scathing at best. One man insisted his uncle had been abducted by Cylons, herded out of the complex with a dozen other inmates while the guards just stood by and watched. It didn't sound like an isolated incident, either. We've received no formal requests from the Cancerin government to respond to these silent incursions. 
but I have tracked Cylon IFFs to at least one station, with no hostile engagements publicly recorded by authorities. That is reason enough to warrant a closer look. Yes. Commander, Let's go get kill toasters. Cancer to investigate the prison station. I'll deal with any politicians on the ground as needed. Okay, so the only red one is this one now. Wait a minute. Oof, we took some damage on this fleet. Minor damage on this one because the suicidal, you know, the totally and the, the 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 total and utter disregard for their own lives in the suicidal death charge to kill one ship meant that I actually took basically no damage. I don't know. It <sighs> yeah, the, the Cylon fleet was actually pretty dangerous, and had they used it to try and you know kill me instead of to ruthlessly hunt down that that little ship that is important for reasons it could have done a lot of damage to me but instead it just got destroyed in seconds I really need to get my shipyard back here but it seems like story missions are gonna be here for a while so maybe I should consider sending a fleet back this fleet I don't like jumping through the middle middle because that means going through two non-colony planets and that's it's expensive to repair ships at non-colony non-colony planets Let's get another fleet built. <clears throat> okay, that's close to leveling up. Might have to start promoting officers with requisition points, but anyway, I need to get a fleet back in Helios Alpha. Let's get those blockades undone. I need to be in the position eventually that every good officer has got their own battle star, because it's going to make it easy to keep them alive. Colony is under attack. Okay, all right. Well, we're out of time anyway, so that's it for now. Um, I guess I just need to carry on consolidating my position. That means training up officers, making bigger fleets, blah blah blah, etc. 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 Just keep on producing adamant slash. Uh, Artemis. Artemis is a missile kind in uh, <laughs> in Battletech. Um, 
yeah, I just need to keep on expanding and building and expanding and building for now. If every story mission is going to be as tooth-pullingly painful as that, we're going to have to uh, focus first on having such a great economy and so much resources that we can tailor build fleets to deal with story situations. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.